come to PJH Elf Films camping site where we can cook marshmallows and we cook marshmallows and uh, create the s'mores. This is not Baldi's camping trip. Yes, that's it's not it's not going to be something spooky. It's just going to be nice and ordinary uh, camping site, really. So. Can, can someone pass me the marshmallows, please? I, uh, oh, yeah, so this version is Minecraft. <gasps> whoa, 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 how did it get there? Okay, no time. Uh, uh, and then, uh, I have to dodge all of them. All right, well, it's time for battle. What's up, guys? Piss Berlin, you're back in the day. We're replaying Minecraft. Now, as you can see right here in front of you, Right here is my survival world, and right now, it's raining. Man, usually I start this recording day as a sunny day, but now it's raining. Well, no worries, I can actually just sleep sleep in the house. Oh yeah, yes, guys. So right here is my nice house, like nice and fancy wooden house right here. It took a few weeks to build, but it was pretty wor worth building. I mean, look at this, guys. Such beauty. I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much sure there can be some other best houses out there, but this is the best one I can make in survival. So, here you go. This is a little tour in my house right here. All right. So, as you see right here, the left part, as you see right here, this is pretty empty, but the right part has some a little bit of stuff. So, right here is an enchantment table, and I use this to enchant items. You probably know what I'm talking about, right, guys? And we have a crafting table and a furnace, just in case I want to craft items, like for example, iron. And then some chests to create my to um, store my enchant items, but it looks like I don't have anything yet. But that was the enchantment room, guys. Now for the right side, we're gonna get to the bot. We're gonna get to this part here. Yes, right here is my storage room. But I'm, but I'm gonna get to this after I do these. All right. So right here is my combat room. So I do com what I mean combat room is I practice. Uh, fighting those uh, mobs, for example. So I take one of my iron swords out and then start practice battling this uh, dummy right here with a let with a leather ar armor right there. So I'm practice fighting. So like for example, combo, combo fight, like this. Yes, that's how you do. That's what my that's what my comp that's what my combo practice feels like. So so I usually do that to um, fight mobs like that. All right. Well. Right here is my storage room, so this is where I keep all the cobblestone and the other stuff I really don't need. Yes, there's a lot of cobblestone here, but that's not really that important. What we have to go is we have to go down here. Yes, so right here is my basement. It's also pretty empty, too. It also has a little bed in case I want to sleep down here. And there is a big nether portal. It's so huge. Usually it's like, um, hold on, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yes. It's uh, usually it's eleven blocks tall, but I extended it to four. And you may know what this is, but it's it's actually special. So I'll show you do that later. But let's take a look at the upstairs, guys. Yes. So yes. So let's go to the upstairs here. And uh, right here, this is the middle view of what the what, how, what the view looks like at this perspective. Yes, looks pretty nice. Look at, look at this, guys. Yes, I, I have a night. Do you notice I have a Minecraft character right here? All right. So on this left side right here is my bedroom and all the other important stuff, like the brewing station and everything else. Um, just merged together. I mean, can't you believe that, guys? Also, right now it's nighttime, so I might as well just go to bed until we can see a sunny morning. And also, that's my armor. But I have some backup armor, so right now I'm using my combat armor. But oh, actually no, this is my backup armor right here, and this is my cake. It's so, it's such a delicious cake. I want to eat so bad, but I can't. It's just too beautiful. I'm just gonna leave it. Yes, I just leave it here for design only. Also, I have a nice dance shirt right there for display only. Also, I got this bell from a village. Oh, how's it? How's it on? Just like that. Also, an ender chest filled with diamonds and lapis. And don't forget a, a sharpness book and 39 emeralds. Can't you believe that? 39 emeralds and 47 diamonds? Man, it, yes, guys. It actually took a, a while to find all these diamonds and emeralds. And I got some um, more backup diamond, and diamond armor. Got some f golden apples and a golden ingot. Also, I have a music disc 13 so I can listen to some tunes. 
This is disc 13, so this is very, very spoopy. I might as well just get this off right here and put it back to the ender chest. Yes, this disc 13, disc 11 can be very spoopy. Also, these are... Yes, yeah, so right here, these are the chest full of potions. But no, there's only one potion here. For example, potion of swift. Yes, but like potion of swiftness, so I can go even faster. Wait, hold on a second. How, how much do I have? I need to take a look at this. Eh. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wow, I have 8 minutes speed. Yes, yeah, so I can go faster. And then right here is uh, my pet room. So this is my this is my pet snow golem. And then my pet snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? And also right here is my dogs. All right, guys, aren't they so cute? They're just so cute. Look at them. I mean, guys, I feel like this video might be cringy, but it's so worth making because Minecraft is coming back to life. It's, isn't it, guys? Yes, it's coming back to life. It's becoming popular. And also, here's my pet cat. It's so cute that, um, she, yes, I'll, I'll call her. She, she wants to sit on boxes all day. Yes, yeah, so I got, I got this structure from a tutorial. I really, I really, I, I really like that structure. So I decided to make it on my own. All right. Well, now that's done, I told the toward the whole house you probably may be wondering what this actually is well I'm gonna show you that right now so that so that part goes all the way down to my mining station oh yes right here is where I grow my crops this is wheat carrots and melon and more wheat and this is nether warts so I can create my potions all right and that is my um, used broken nether portal because I have one downstairs in my basement and also this is a nice fireplace so I can cook some stuff yes guys uh, so whenever I first discovered this fireplace I was like hmm what does this even do is this does this even do anything so I decided to put some raw steak there and I'm like whoa you can actually do some some stuff on there I mean you can actually cook steak Instead, of just using the furnace. Furnace. I mean, you can. There's a second version of the furnace that cooks food two times, but this one, fireplace. Um, well, it goes same speed as, as furnace almost, but um, it can cook the fu it can cook the food with no coal. All right. Well, uh, we should go down to the mining station and see how this works. So I got I got some cobblestone to give you guys an example. All right. Well, we're almost all the way down. Just so close. Yes, I have a cobblestone staircase to make things faster. All right. Well, it looks like we're now here. I blocked this up. Now, uh, the minecart shall be coming. So I'm just gonna put. Um, I'm just gonna put. Y yes. Did you hear that, guys? That was a no block sound. It, right now, the cobblestone is going down. So what I should do is I should go run back up and then show you guys what it really looks like um, whenever I go back up. And then uh, this is like a storage mover so for example if I uh, find some diamonds and yay I found diamonds and then I go back to uh, my house I don't want to carry all the stuff with me and put in the chest I mean I, I mean I, I guess I can I don't want I don't want to um, all have all my stuff put in a chest like all like all the way back I don't want to carry them because there's a chance of my inventory going full so I decided to do this so this is where um, all my stuff has been moved here isn't that cool, guys? It's really incredible. And after it's been emptied out, it's going back to where it is, back and forth and back and forth. All right. Well, we're we're gonna have to go somewhere next. Something very interesting. Yes. Yeah, so if you see a house in distance, yeah. So whenever I first started the survival, this was my oh oh I see some people there. Hello. All right. Well. Uh, so whenever I first started my survival, this is actually the first house I I've, I've uh, built. I mean, look at this, guys. It's such a nice, simple, basic house. But I got a big house right here. So this is a nice, simple, base ho house with a s super tall roof, but very spacious in here, actually. So what I did is I just simply moved all the stuff here. I mean, it still has some stuff here. And I have a lot of buried treasure map or some unused maps. But I know I have a lot of buried treasure maps. But still, I have some old stuff here. Well, I guess that's it. All right. Well, we have to take a look at everything else. Yes, everything you see right here. Like right there, that building, it's gonna be interesting. You like you guys are I'm gonna wow all of you. Alright, well, you see right here, this is my farm where I breed cows, sheep, I named this sheep Jeb, and my chicken. My my favorite part is a chicken farm. So what I do about cows is I oof one 